got some more people rolling through. <laughs> of course, Adam is like the first one on track, so. We're here for another day of drifting. I am super excited, and this goes out to all of you that said I wasn't gonna drive my car anymore because it is too pretty. So today is the day that I'm ripping off that fresh paint band-aid and just accepting, you know, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. It's a pretty car now, but this is also still my practice car, and I need to accept that it's going to get roughed up a little bit. I have my new NRG seats and harnesses in, so just even street driving the car, everything feels so much better, and I'm really excited to take it out on track. Adam is out here testing the E36. Thinking about it, the last time we were here, we had black and white cars, and now we have hot pink and blue cars, so I'm loving all the color. I'm gonna hurry up and get on track before it gets super busy. The compound is sketchy. It's sketchy fun. So don't judge me too hard <laughs> my first lap out here. I'm also testing my hydro again. It's my first few laps out there. I'm just gonna go see how everything feels. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, really quick. Before I go out, I wanna do a walk around the car just one more time because the car looks really pretty right now. And even though it's my first time out, it might not look this pretty ever again. I'm gonna do a walk around really quick because I might mess some things up today. What is that nice paint? Oh, and the bash bars, yeah, those are definitely, probably didn't get some marks on them today, especially the front one. Uh, I don't know if you remember my last video here, Adam and I had crashed twice <laughs> into each other. Of course we can't predict that custom Barbie logo. Hopefully she isn't going anywhere today. Oh, the car looks so good. Here's the car, pre-compound, fresh paint, fresh bash bars.
much better. Having proper bucket seats and harnesses in the car makes a night and day difference. I'm just super stoked that I was able to connect this like Manji sweeper part. My first time out! I just feel so much better in the car. It's weird, especially since I haven't driven recently. second time out and unfortunately I don't think there's any good video of it. I went off or Ethan went off last time. Man, I wish I had footage of it because it was it was bad. Let me see if you can see from over here. Just people are still driving so I don't want to go out there. But I just went off bad right there. You can't tell but there's like at least a seven inch, eight inch drop right there. Straight down. Yep, went off. Mowed the lawn a little bit, got back on track. These are indestructible. The car, totally fine. Um, the back bumper started coming off and it happened. I literally thought the front of the car would be really messed up and the bash bar is all marked up like it was really aggressive. I wish I had footage. I sound like I'm being dramatic, but it really is a deep drop off. Already putting the bash bars to the test. I mean, this car is way too low right now, by the way. I wasn't planning on drifting it with the current suspension on it again. However, this opportunity to come here with everyone popped up, so I just kept it how it was. But right now my car is extremely low. The bash bar almost hits everything. I can't even see a mark. I mean, I'm looking. I can't see a mark though. So there you go. That was their first test. Let's see. Sides good. It was so much force when I went off that it might have just popped a zip tie. I'm gonna go to the gas station and fill up, but I'm having so much fun. We eating good today. Got that super premium. My car is refueled. I'm about to refuel myself and then get back out there until the sun goes down. I'm gonna try and get someone to shoot the outside sweeper a few times. It is post lunch and I'm ready to drive again. Yes, I'm Michael Jack.
officially trash. Adam took care of that fresh paint real fast. <laughs> a million times better. My car has officially been partially wrecked, the body of it, so there you go. I honestly accepted it going into this trip. This is a practice drift car, so it wasn't gonna be all pretty and freshly painted forever. Uh, Adam took care of that real fast. My rear bumper is no longer anymore. I haven't seen the damage yet. It came off when we were on track. There you go, I told you. I'm still gonna drive the crap out of this car. Oh, oh, we got a, we got a burnout. I do want to show you guys the damage. Since the bumper bumper, there we go. And a side skirt. And a splitter missing. Oh, yep, no more bumper. Oh well. Good thing I got bash bars, so I'm still cool. Here is the bumper. Okay, yep. Fresh paint. So also, from when I went off, like, second time out today, the main damage was just right there. Oh, it pulled off a little bit from the side skirt on the bottom and nicked it a bit, but surprisingly, that was it. And it was a gnarly drop off. It's actually pretty late now. It's maybe around 6 p.m. and most people are packed up ready to go. So this is the time that I like to go out because one, it's cooled down a ton. And two, there's not gonna be like a lot of people behind me where you have to rush and go, go, go. So I can really just take a step back really focus on the things I need to work on and just have fun with it. Trying to be consistent and remember to do better wheel work. I'm still always reminding myself it's still something I'm trying to improve on greatly and this is a, a great place to try and do that because it's really hard.
all the cameras died and we just kept driving for a little while longer. Um, I went out with Adam just to work on initiations and trying to get more of that backward entry style. For me, it's a lot of just need to pick up my speed and initiate a lot earlier. And right now it's really, really difficult because well, one, the hydro isn't working that great. I can't even pull it all the way to where it bites hard um, just because of how close I have to have my seat to reach the pedal. So that's uncomfortable, then that makes me not trust that it's in a bite, especially when you're initiating so early. Definitely, you know, top priority right now is getting me comfortable and everything fitted to me. So need to sort out the hydro situation. Now also with how the seat is and how far I need to be forward, I'm even shifting weird. Like going into second, I'm like having to bend my hand a little bit and push it into second because my arm stops earlier. I always have these problems. I'm pretty short. So it's just dialing that in so I can be a lot more comfortable, aggressive, and get everything working right. So that is definitely next on the to-do list. And I think between those two things, once I get comfortable, like that's gonna be so much better. Not bad. Only major damage was the bumper, but it's actually not in separate pieces. So I can definitely zip tie back on at the shop. And when I went off that really bad spot off the sweeper before, really the only damage was the bottom of here, which you can't even really tell. And boom, beautiful. So not bad. We're gonna head back to the shop early this time. The sun's actually out. I'm just so excited to be making driving videos. It's about to rain. I will catch you guys in the next video. <laughs>